Hey, what's up, Street Talks? Eric from the Eric and Street Photography blog. So, I wanted to share with you some practical thoughts on why I'm so motivated. So, I cannot speak for you, but uh, let me speak for myself. So, as of late, I've been feeling incredibly inspired, incredibly motivated, and in really high spirits, and been able to be super duper productive and create a lot. So, what's my secret, and what's been helpful to me? So, uh, many, many things. So first and foremost, I think one of the most important things as a, a creator is for us to know that our greatest joy resides in creating. Is our greatest joy is when we're making stuff. And I kind of, uh, I think what's actually helped me is I've been allowing my like inner child to thrive and come out more. So that means not to censor myself so much, to kind of ask myself questions that I'm personally interested in, and you know, not care for votes, likes, followers, or stuff like that. And so I've been making lots of videos, vlogs, blogs, blah, blah. And I've just been, you know, uploading it and then just kind of on to the next one. So I think for me, in terms of my personal workflow, I like to make something, come up with something that I'm, per that I'm personally interested in, and then, you know, uploading it and sharing it and publishing it. And then afterwards, just going on to the next thing. And the irony is, the less pressure I put on myself and the less I care for making something good or great or perfect or whatever, the more creatively productive I am and the more motivated I am to just keep exploring all forms of information, knowledge, and so forth. And so I think that one of the, the things that's actually been really helpful and useful to me is, you know, not just limiting myself to just one field of knowledge or interest and stuff like that, is allowing myself full credence to all forms of knowledge, all forms of information, all forms of, you know, wisdom seeking and art and life and stuff like that. Because I feel that one of the biggest problems is when we tend to pigeonhole ourselves into just one thing, we tend to lose motivation to just do um, to, 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 to just create because we self-tyrannize ourselves, we put ourselves in a box and we don't let ourselves kind of explore our own ideas and stuff like that. And so I think it's really important for us as creators to stay motivated by always asking ourselves why and trying to discover the answers to things that we're personally interested in. And also like just another practical thing too is that I find that one of the best ways to stay quote cool, cool, motivated is to just walk a lot. So I'm, I'm currently super duper lucky is that like, you know, I'm living in uh, Providence, Rhode Island and I could just walk everywhere. And one of the things I love about walking is as I'm walking, I come up with ideas. So I don't, I don't think you could just really sit and find motivation just like that. I think what motivation, and you know, technically what motivation, it comes from like motus, blah, 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 means to move. So quite literally, when you're moving, you're gonna find inspiration. And I think to me, this is a very, this is a very great thought because motivation isn't this like mystical, you know, divine, Thing that's uh, entering your brain. No, motivation is, is much more simple. Motivation is, is just to move, right? And so to find motivation to move is to literally just get out of your house and just walk as much as you can. And also certain things that I know that's personally helped me in terms of getting more like creative ideas has been to listen less to music when I'm just at home or even at the gym and actually to let my mind wander. Because I think the problem is when we, have, when we let too much external stimuli constantly bombard our brains, then you don't let your own inner thoughts kind of come out. And also uh, other practical things, ways I stay motivated is I don't watch the news, I don't follow politics, I don't do social media, anything like that. Because honestly, all that shit is like toxic poison is that Whenever I accidentally read the news or see something on TV or social media, it's all fear mongering and it just kind of makes me feel passive. It's like, it's almost like this learned helplessness is that the world feels like such a shitty place that you feel discouraged from doing anything or making anything. And I'm, I'm more of like, yo, 
you could posit your own self goals and dreams in life and you don't have to follow no formula. And so I feel like one of the best ways to find more motivation in life is to figure out what to subtract from your life. So subtracting social media, subscribe, uh, uninstalling all these distracting social media apps from your phone, um, listening to music less, uh, to, to ask yourself questions that you're personally interested in. And also I think a big thing too is just to uh, self-censor yourself uh, less because the more we censor ourselves, the, um, the less you're able to ask yourself uh, the interesting questions that you're actually really interested in. So uh, also things that's been uh, really motivational to me is, you know, going to the gym, attempting epic one rep maxes and my dad lives squats and bench presses and stuff like that. So I really do feel that pushing your physical body to the extreme and the max is a good way to discover new forms of motivation and thinking and thoughts and stuff like that. Standing as much as you can, walking as much as you can, and just not striving for perfection and always to just kind of follow your gut, to uh, push yourself forward, to uh, posit yourself as an end into yourself, to become the most epic individual you can, and to never stop uh, questioning and making and sharing, right? So these are some ways I've been so motivated. Uh, what are some ways you discover motivation? Feel free to leave a comment and share your own turbo thoughts. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.